Joey Bosa's mother took to social media to vent her frustration with the contract dispute with the Chargers. The post re- uh, was first reported by San Diego Bolt dot, uh, or report.com and was later removed. But in a written response to a, a post from a Facebook user who said uh, he hoped, quote, it turns out well for your son. I, I hope it turns out well for your son. Chargers are horrible at stopping the running game, end quote. Right? A, a, a fan who's, uh, you know, talking to Joey Bosa's mother on Facebook and commenting. Now, Cheryl Bosa wrote in, in response to that, quote, it bums me, it bums, bums me out uh, for him so much. Wish we pulled an Eli Manning on draft day. Wow. Shot. Shot right to everybody in the Chargers fans and organization. I mean, I, I'm not taking it rough. It's just, damn. It's not holding back at all. Now, Archie Manning, of course, we all remember, famously said he did not want his son Eli to play for the Chargers when uh, San Diego drafted him number one in 2004. And after selecting Eli Manning number one, the Chargers immediately traded him to the New York Giants for quarterback Phillip Rivers. New York selected number four as a condition to, uh, of the trade, along with several other picks. We all remember that now. Now, Bosa selected number three by San Diego in this year's draft remains the only first round draft pick who has not signed with this team. That's bad because preseason starts this Thursday and, and onwards. Uh, is the longest a rookie has remained unsigned under a current collective bargaining agreement established in 2011. Now, Bosa's father, John, was also a holdout as an NFL rookie, which could make him more, you know, convinced to continue to hold out. John Bosa was a defensive lineman drafted number 16 by the Dolphins in 1987 and held out 41 days before signing his rookie contract. Now, according to ESPN's Adam Schefter, Bosa, uh, Bosa's camp and the Chargers have not had any con- uh, contact since the end of July. That's a problem. When Bosa's representation provided a counterproposal before the start of training camp, the two sides remained at an impasse over offset language and the earlier payment of deferred signing bonus money with no end in sight. Basically, the offset language is they want the uh, signing bonus to get paid faster and in front half, right? That's basically what they want. Uh, And the charges don't want to do that for some reason. Uh, the Chargers have until, well, they had until Tuesday to trade his rights if they wanted to, but obviously that was not going to happen, and it didn't happen. Uh, so now it's, it's, there's a problem, right? Preseason starts for the Chargers, I believe, Friday is what you're seeing on your screen scrolling by. Some, at some point you'll see it. Uh, it's a problem. There's a problem here. The Chargers need him. Just get it done. If he wants it, all of his signing bonus now or it's quicker or front booked, whatever you want to call it, just give it to him. Just give it to him. We need him. We need him more than he needs us, honestly, because we are so bad at, at the defensive line. And Chargers are playing hardball. They're saying, nope, you're going to play our rules. You're going to do it how we want it. This is a contract we're going to give you. Don't like it. Continue holding out. Get no money. We'll see how that goes. But... Damn, Chargers. And Cheryl Bosa, you a savage. I like you.